This is the Luma 5 and it is a brand new 5 inch freestyle and cinematic platform that is made by the team at Luma Quad in Sydney, Australia. Let's take a closer look. This is the Luma 5 and it's a five inch freestyle and cinematic FPV frame platform. And I have just gotten back from taking it with me to Cowra in rural New South Wales on the central tablelands where I used it to shoot an event as well as rip around for freestyle. So in this video, I'm gonna share my experience with the Luma 5, what it's like as a platform for freestyle and cinematic FPV, how it was to build and what my thoughts are on the frame. But first, I'm gonna shed some light on who is LumaQuad, as you probably haven't heard of them. Luma is run by Gareth Heyman, who's a professional cinematic FPV pilot, and he started to design his own frame to meet his specific needs for cinematic work. Now, Luma's based out of Sydney, Australia, and they're mostly known for the Luma 55, which is a five and a half inch cinematic frame, as well as the Luma 25 and 30, which is Cinewhoops. But pro pilots have been begging Gareth for a freestyle frame that can also meet their needs for cinematic work. They wanted to have one single platform that feels at home in a bando, chasing cars, or in any situation their client work calls for, which is how the Luma 5 came about. But how do you meet the needs of everyone and deliver a solution that keeps everyone happy without compromise? Well, it starts with a platform that your customers configure to meet their various needs. The foundation of the frame is this single bottom deck, which comes with a sandwich mid plate, while there are also multiple arm lengths to choose from, giving pilots flexibility and choice. The frame design has dedicated stack screws of 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 that are independent of both the bottom plate and the arms. And to make repairs easy and to minimize the time that a quad is grounded after breaking an arm, it's as simple as removing two screws. To develop a platform that meets the needs of both cinematic pilots and freestyle pilots, the Luma 5 was co-developed with multiple Australian freestyle champions, Jacuzzi J and JWeb FPV. While on the cinematic front, Gareth worked with the OG of FPV in Australia, Clifford Wakeman, to ensure the cinematic pilot's needs were met and exceeded. But what is it like to build? Make no mistake, this build is really simple, but it is really time consuming because there is a ton of hardware. But all of this hardware actually solves key issues of durability, especially when it comes to the TPU mounts. And to stop the usual tearing that you get with steel bolts and TPU, there are inserts as well as washers. Now, I learned the hard way that it's actually quicker to put the spacer and washer on the bolt and then install it rather than install them individually. The build process is quite simple and well thought out, allowing for pilots to have all their different setups. And when building, you are gonna need some muscle as the carbon is cut to some pretty tight tolerances that comes together without any play. Having these tight tolerances means that preset tunes like the Superfly 5 inch freestyle tune give you a great flying quad that feels clean and locked in. The completed frame is really heavy and that's due to all the hardware, but it's absolutely robust and so far it's held up to all the abuse during testing. For my specific build, I went with the Foxy F722 V2 flight controller the Foxy Reaper F4 128K ESC, Radio Master RP4 TD receiver with Express LRS, Cadex's brand new Walksnail Moonlight kit, as well as Flyfish RC 2306 motors in 1750KV. Typically, the batteries I use are Tattoo R-Line 1050mAh 6S batteries, and I was getting around five minutes of flight time. 
but you'd possibly want to go with a 1300 milliamp hour success battery and I'd actually recommend 1950 kV motors. If you're looking for a good motor, the Chris Rosser 2307 motor would probably pair really well with the Luma 5, but I personally would have gone with the T-Motor F60 Pro IV in 2207, 1950 kV if I didn't have the Flyfish motors lying around. So you're probably wondering what the Luma 5 was like going out to fly. Well, first up was my freestyle flight. Now, while I do admit I'm absolutely not the best freestyle or cinematic pilot, I found the weight of the Luma 5 gave it the feeling of being planted, yet agile and responsive, and the extra weight made it feel quite smooth. You see, lighter frames can feel too agile, like there isn't enough momentum and isn't just enough sit. Meanwhile, those heavier frames can also tend to feel sluggish, even with similar setups. And the Luma 5 feels absolutely planted, makes it really smooth for cinematic flying, while it also has a lot of momentum and carry when it comes to freestyle. And certainly with the motors that I've got, they performed really, really well, and I didn't feel the extra weight. And I really enjoyed flying it. It had all the right amount of carry, enough power, it felt really smooth, and because of how heavy the Luma 5 is, it felt a lot easier to control and was a lot easier for me to be able to hit these tighter gaps. It also meant that being able to go up and over different moves and then sit down was really, really nice. When it came time for cinematic flying, again, this is where that weight really helped because it felt very planted and quite smooth, which is really what you want when you're trying to do cinematic moves so you can get the best shot possible. And I used it for this event out on someone's farm and tell you what, I really, really enjoyed flying around with the Luma 5. Now, I would have to say, overall, the Luma 5 really lives up to its premium price tag of 100 USD, subject to exchange rate. If you wanna buy this, you can actually go to the Luma Quad website, link in the description, and it's not an affiliate link either, to check it out. It's gonna be shipped from Australia. One thing I would recommend is that if you are gonna buy the Luma 5, go ahead and purchase the GoPro mount for your specific GoPro rather than the generic one. And if you want a robust five inch platform for freestyle cinematic and even cruising, the Luma 5 is gonna be an excellent choice. I'm looking forward to getting out and flying this more, but the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is order the right GoPro mount. I'm Darren Allen, until next time, don't forget to send it.